Right, we are now live on YouTube. Good afternoon. And welcome to the meeting of the Audit and Governance Committee. Please note this meeting is being streamed live to the internet. Please could all members ensure their microphone is set to mute unless they are speaking to reduce any background noise. It is important to remember that you may only speak when called by the chairman. Also ensure any other devices nearby are switched to silent mode as they can be distracting. Please can all members keep their video on at all times. And if a councillor does lose connection, the meeting will be paused for a period of three minutes to allow that councillor to rejoin the meeting. If the councillor is unable to do this after three minutes, the meeting will resume and the council will not be able to vote on that particular item. Members should use the raise hand button when they wish to speak. When it is your turn to speak, I will call your name and invite you to speak. Once you have spoken, I will flatten your hand. All votes will be taken by roll call where the name of each member is read out and they must respond with either for, against or abstain. If it is clear that all members are in agreement, then I will say agreed. I will only accept amendments to motions via the chat function so it is clear for everyone what is being proposed. Right, we now move to the agenda. Item one, apologies for absence. Are there any apologies? I've received no apologies, Chairman. Thank you. Right, item two, declaration of interest. Members of the committee should declare any interests which fall under the, the following categories. Disclosable pecuniary interests, other significant interests, voluntary announcements of other interests. Are there any? Yes, Chairman. I have one. Um, step short um, has the chartered accountant Maggie Gammon as their accountant. So I'm just declaring an interest. I, I have no knowledge of the person that, that is to be interviewed today at all. Thank so you. I'm just declaring a voluntary interest. Thank you for that, Councillor Berry. Are there any more? No? Right, in that case, item three is exclusion of the public. To exclude the public for the following item of business on the grounds that it is likely to disclose exempt information as defined in paragraph one of part one of schedule 12A to the Local Government Act 1972, which is information relating to individuals. Not sure, do we, do we have to vote on that? Yes, you do. So we need a proposer and a seconder. I propose. Can we have a seconder? I'll second that. Thank you. And all in favor? Yep. Sorry, I, I had my hand raised to ask questions, not to vote. Sorry, I didn't see that. I, I must get my get my hand thing working. Sorry about that, Councillor. Um, Thank you. I want, to, I want to ask for some guidance before we move to um, to adopt a, any any position of exclusion. Okay. So I've got some I've got some questions. Right. Um, they don't relate to individuals but they relate to the, the process and the recruitment process. So I wanted to ask for guidance whether it's appropriate to raise those in this part of the meeting or a subsequent part of the meeting, please. I would imagine it would come later. Um, can somebody advise me on that? Yes, happy to. It's um, Amandeep, the monitoring officer. Uh, Councillor Davison, thank you for your question. I do think it would be more appropriate for you to raise um, that query later on in the meeting, if that's okay with you. Okay, thank you for the guidance. Are you happy with that, Councillor Davison? If that's the guidance, I, I accept that. Thanks. Right, so we then move on to item four, recruitment for the position. Okay. Oh, sorry, we didn't do, complete the vote, did we? Sorry about that. I'm rushing. Is so, everybody in agreement? With are, you, are you in agreement now? Yes. Joe? Yeah. Right. Thank you. That appears to be unanimous. Thank you. Okay. I'm just going to stop the live stream.